Hello, this is Suraj. In this video, I am going to explain about multi-factor authentication in HCL Domino. MFA is a new feature introduced in Domino V12. We use time-based one-time password for authentication along with the usual username and password for web applications. To work MFA, Domino server should be V12. The ID bar should be configured and user ID is uploaded to the vault. You must have installed a TOTP-based application such as Google Authenticator, OT, etc. The first step is to issuing the vault trust certificate by using MFA MGMT command. Now you can verify the same in the certificate view of the Domino directory. You can also verify it by running the command show ID vault which will show the trust for the organization. Step 2 is to enable TOTP authentication in the configuration document. In the security tab, enable TOTP for web applications. Select S for emergency and email scratch codes. You can select maximum number of secrets and the algorithm. The default is SHA-256. Step 3 is to enable TOTP on servers. Depend on the configuration, you can enable this either on the server document or the internet site document. First, we will check how this can be enabled through server document. Go to the internet protocol Domino Web Engine and select either single server or multi server. In the same page, enable TOTP in the Domino Access Service. Now go to the ports, internet ports under web section, select yes with TOTP for both HTTP and HTTPS. Here we will check how TOTP can be enabled through internet site document. Go to the Domino Web Engine and select single or multiple server in the session authentication. Now go to the configuration and select TOTP in Domino Access Service. Select put and delete in allowed method. In the security section, select yes with TOTP for both HTTP and HTTPS. You can optionally enable secure email operations such as encrypt, decrypt or sign mails for TOTP. To do this, open the security policy document and go to the ID Vault tab. Select S yes for allow TOTP authentication with ID Vault. Open the ID Vault database and specify all Vault servers in the trusted server field. In this step, we need to configure the TOTP login form. We need to create a new DOM CFG database for this. In the database, create a new mapping. The target form name should be login user for MFA. Now make sure that the database ACL set to default reader access. We completed all the server side configuration and now restart the vault servers. In the last step, we will see how users can set up MFA. Access a web application and put username and password. Click on Setup Multi-Factor Authentication. Enter your name. This will now generate a TOTP URI and a QR code for further configuration. Here for demonstration, I am using Google Authenticator Chrome extension for scanning the QR code. Now the username is successfully added to the Google Authenticator. With the token, the account need to be validated. Click on copy all to copy the scratch token to a secure location. Select I have copied the code to a secure location. To complete the setup, enter username, password and the token from your GOTP application. With this, we completed the MFA configuration.